Data of every description will pervade our consciousness. Holograms projected beneath our eyelids. Direct retinal stimulation. Welcome to the DCC Museum. Hi and welcome back at the museum. Today's video is about the Philips DCC 771, the only double deck made by Philips that incorporates a analog and a digital compact cassette. Unfortunately, it was a prototype from 1996. It was loosely based on the FW68 mini set that we've done several videos about. We were able to obtain it last year. We believe it's a one-off. We will show you how it looks and how it works and what could have been. So here it is, let's turn it on. It's nice tape and, and uh, DCC. It is based on the FW68. As a matter of fact, the mechanisms are exactly the same for analog and digital compact cassette. The software and the display, however, are totally different. In a way, this has a little bit more features on the display side where it would show you the artist information, etc., etc., which the FW68 doesn't do. But the missing thing is that on this deck, you can only do DCC to tape, which seems logical to go from the better quality to the worse quality. Although we have been successfully been able to do a analog tape to DCC on the FW68, something that this deck doesn't do. Let's turn it on. Do that a little bit shorter because the DCC deck is not going to hit any copyright issues on YouTube. Okay, so it's not as loud as we recorded it. So that is a little off. It's a regular ferro tape. Thanks for B flying for sharing the music that is not copyright protected. This unit has Dolby BC, auto reverse on the analog and of course on the DCC deck. Let's open it up to see how it looks on the inside. So we can see that this deck came with digital and optical, analog in and out, and of course the system control RC5, which is interesting because the orange, mostly used by Marantz, Philips usually uses the green RC5 connection for visual support, so that's interesting. Let's open it up.
So like we said before, the blocks are exactly the same as in an FW68. The mechanism blocks, I mean, for DCC and analog, they could totally be interchanged with uh, one of these FW68. This unit was really ready, as you can see, it was pre-production rather than a prototype. According to the story, this was picked up from the semi-trash bin at a Philips employee stores. That was not really a trash bin, it was a bin where people could pick up equipment that was no longer used or needed. Sometimes it was pre-production like uh, these. We have seen this on a website called Dutch Audio Classics. We've been trying to get it for years. Finally last year the owner agreed to let it go. One of the more expensive decks that we have obtained, but since this is a one-off, we wanted to share this with you and it really belongs to the museum. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.